bunch of technical issues, I think I'm ready. Alright, to Duncan. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. This is a really good scene. The more I hear about this... I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. This is a really good scene. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyaver with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. <laughs> we're going to drink the blood it's of those... It's funny every time. Those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Had There I known. is no turning back. 
No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. I love how much blood there is in this game. It's always excessive the amounts. For the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Hey, Matt. Please attend as soon as you're able. Sorry if it takes me a second to respond. I'm pretty sure this is... It's, a uh, Delayed. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier? I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. We need the beacon. Without it, Loghain's men won't know when to charge. You see? Glory for everyone. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. Oh, you know there what he's no talking about. I'm from the world. Isn't that what you're men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we circle will of not Mage trust I... any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Galen. Glorious moment for us all.
You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Yes, so am I. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Oh, this is another really good cutscene. ends here. So confident. That would be absolutely terrifying.
cross the bridge and get to the tower of Ishal. That's why I like video games, because real life Nicole would be nowhere near this situation. talking about man taken how the darkspawn came up through the lower chambers they're everywhere most of our men are dead then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves i'm not a huge fan of this page Finally getting a hang of the controls on PC. I know those dragons are so hard. I tried to fight one when I played it and it slayed me. So, fortunately, that was like the only dragon I ran into. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got pwned. Oh no, more dark spawn!
unfortunately played this part not too long ago, so I remember that this room explodes. So what I need to do. Everybody stand still, there we go. That's our mistrap. Do it. I didn't lose a single person in that battle. Not too shabby. <laughs> well, at least this time we know for sure I'll get you past that cutscene you were stuck at. That's right, I'm not going to have any potions left for the boss at the end. It 
is begun. Ah, single G Jane Health Potion. You guys aren't helping me out at all. Oops. It's very easy to kill, too. It is begun. Super awesome. Way to restock that. Oh, don't be sorry. Dang, I wish I was watching you play. <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal.
Oh, right now we're almost to the part where they uh, light the beacon. It is begun. As you say. Have you played Dragon Age before? Those gains better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us.
job, Puppy. I shall do it. I need a bunch of jewels right now. shall be done. Boss is on the other side of that door. Let's make sure we have everything.
Oh, change my field policy. Oh, it's at that alley part. Oh, thank you. My uh, friend Sky took that. She's a super good photographer. Yeah. 
Bad man, the Jamba. The beacon is over here. You surely missed the signal. Better light it quickly before it's too late. I love that casting. This is, right? This is the part you saw last. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. You were injured and then mother rescued you. Do you not remember? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well.
The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Yeah, Morgan. Have you met her in the game yet? I know you were saying last time you played you hadn't met her, but I'm not sure how far you've gotten since then. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I will stay and make something to eat. My kind of lady. Here. Um, that is a quest for later. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. Don't worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blights. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half-dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon, or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlais had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmen. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Hi. 
Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but will this mouth. add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. <laughs> Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the Blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Oh, it kind of does look like Jenna Marble. It's weird. This randomly is actually one of my favorite parts of this game. You can go around and like really get to know the characters. Um, more is added, obviously. As the game progresses. I'm going to take this opportunity to go have a smoke break.
Yar playing some Dragon Age Yar. Yar. It's a good time. Yar.
That's funny. So my mom just came over. She's just kind of explaining to her what Twitch is, <laughs> and uh, um, she was talking about how funny it would be what if she mean? was playing on Twitch. <laughs> her own video games. I actually tried to show her this game, and it was her just running around in circles and getting super duper mad. Oh my god! I never Ask away. Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry will tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. No, I never actually became a full Templar. Duncan recruited me before I took my vows. I was only present <laughs> It would be one so hour. bad. She's the not good at this game at all. It's not unlike our joining, really. She's not good at video games Just in general. Deadly. I remember Girl when me and my sister were little and we had a PlayStation 2, she kept calling it a Sega. And she couldn't. We had to end it quickly. I have to say, I didn't have much interest in becoming a Templar after that. Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade on its dwarves, well, Great. I'm sure you can put two and two together. <laughs> Thankfully, no. 
You only start receiving lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's that's talents that's more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chancery usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. A bit of an exception. Lucky me. What do you need? Ask away. Such as they are. I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Loghain's people in Denerim will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden. And even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the Blight. So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Ask away. Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? I do my best. <laughs> what can I say? Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar. That's where I learned most of my skills. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Oh, I suppose the Chantry life is good enough for some. Here, we have the chance to fight against the Blight. To actually do some good instead of sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. No, it's... Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be... It's fine. He died a hero. They all did. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Anyone with sufficient will, but the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. 
There were nights when the wilds called to me, it is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Six, six. You little. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He spat at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. As you say. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Oh. Your Lordship, if I might speak. That's it. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our oh. own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will put no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh... They don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, 
and not say refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, Nonsense. On the highway. They are full. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? The toll applied. Oh, you get off and right. Even if you're no right, we get to <coughs> ransack your. Uh, Highwaymen preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are full. Now, is that any way to greet someone? What? Oh, right. Right. 
We get to ransack it. <laughs> well, this. We surrender. A lot of blood. We're, we're just trying to get rise before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, yes, of, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know Kunari Rogue is super funny. I actually watched a couple of your videos to see what a Kunari Rogue was like. Yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chests we brought. I swear. There aren't any. Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me. Bless you. The Darkspawn can have this place. <laughs> Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. 
I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. I can give you directions, if you like. <coughs> then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Stop looking at me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. And he persists! Maddening! You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. <laughs> You might find that, though it's probably just frightened gossip. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck wherever you might go. Oh, look how they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. Sad to watch how helpless they they scurry about. The chances are still operating their board. How that? Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Well, I won't stand for thievery, especially not at the demand of some shrewish priest. Then go, and may you get all you deserve. I hope the darkspawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah. I suppose it couldn't be helped. Maker, help us all. So sad. It's a mean man with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, 
But I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Oh. He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. She leave me here. But she must be coming. I don't know. Maybe I should go home and look for her. Then what should I do? I have nowhere to go. And I'm hungry. A whole silver. Wow, thank you. You're a really nice lady. Kind of like mother. I should go look for her. Where can you scream? Where can you scream? Oops. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. It'd be impossible. Argue. He's chanted Devon's. <laughs> no, he's a chanter. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. when I play. I wish I still had that eye patch. I actually borrowed it from a friend. I watch the Black Heart descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. No, I have seen them. You cannot run. You cannot fight. My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. I, I ran, hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She and hair the same color as yours. Are you calling me a coward? I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will come. 
<laughs> he was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Very well. Very well. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. We turn none aside, but we, we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. The revered mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templar stationed here. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Not since Teyrn Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Make her watch over you. Oh, I forget that every time you go in their room, you have to go through a load screen. There's word of Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of As if we needed more hands. fighting here. Don't man. you see how scared everyone is? I hear you drove yeah, off those bandits. bandits. I hope they don't come back. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I... I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? W what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined really quickly. This part of the game. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. I shall do it. Chant of light scattered in the dark. 
cry out from the shadows. No wonder Come if that's an accurate likeness those who of seek redemption. Redemption. Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had but <laughs> And then shall the maker return to the black city in heaven. And then shall the chant oh of gosh, life make it pure. Oh, yeah. Let all mankind be humble. Will you be making a donation to the chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Might I suggest 30 silver? That was super <laughs> Thank you, dear woman. What can I do for you then? <laughs> a grey wall? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Logain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. You have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Logan. It is begun. Redemption be delivered. But those who have sinned be forgiven. I'm afraid to go to get potions. I, I desperately need some. What's so funny out there? As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? You ate my entire bag of herbs, you foolish dog. Do not think I am unaware of where it went. Here's As your you own. Say. I keep your voice down. Oh, you. Impressing anyone who can hold a sword into service. Tell you what, but is it to fight them darkspawn or those nobles yeah, shouting easy. against them? I've no idea, but I'm sure not about to raise my hand if you catch my meaning. Or after what happened down south. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Ah, of course. If you don't mind my asking, I hear talk of someone giving those bastards outside the village what they deserved. That wouldn't be you, would it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn. Well, 
Look what we have here, men. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. <clears throat> I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. <laughs> <laughs> And I still have no fortunes. Ain't that about a bitch? They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I was there! The turn pulled us out of a trap. The wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing! What do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothering. Oh, I was. Liliana. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Maker told me to. I... I know that sounds... Absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this <coughs> chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. <coughs> Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Oh, it's good to have you. But I'm already a rock, so I guess I don't care. Got what he deserved. <laughs> well, I still don't have food to sell. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison? Yes, that's all right, poison. I've got some traps around the place. I've heard the poison hurts them beasties just as good as anybody else. That's what Elder Miriam said. But it's my coin <laughs> and my land. I just want to rest a little easier at night. 
Well then, those bleeding sad salts should stay off my land, eh? Besides, these days, any folk out at night is more than like to slit your throat. Can you make poison or not? I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Well, there's herbs in the north wood. As for other stuff, look around town. Some refugees just left things behind to travel faster. I don't really know what you need, though. I, I might have some in stock, too. Hi. Oh, I forgot about gifts. You can buy gifts in this game and give them to party members. It makes them look like it. No, not for Origins, unfortunately, because when it came out, I think it was for the 360? I think it was like a fairly new game on that, if I remember correctly.
come in. Very much of anything. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock? speak to that knight yesterday said he was from Redcliffe. he talked to everyone <laughs> the yeah i told you that the armor doesn't really change it might change like colors for the pages but other than that it's about it there's two different armors for rogue there's this one and the leather one that makes you look like you have abs from the beginning do i have a choice of the two of you that remain are you not the senior gray warden here I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? You've worked in such a bitch. How dare you accuse me of favoring? Check it out. One it's a kunari. Cousins. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. Yeah. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. The Kunari looks so much different in this game. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. 
Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. I suppose not every legend is true. I was actually thinking about getting cornrows myself. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as we tell her. Farewell, then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. Yeah. That's cruel. Cool. I wonder why the revered mother is so <laughs> afraid of them. Yes. Now I need to kill him. We're ready to suck on arrows. That would be super helpful. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I shall do it. I kind of just steal those gloves right afterwards, though. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Old man Barlin said that Dark's barn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. None to be had. Balin has all the traps in the village in his fields. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry.
As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? <laughs> Foundation built of stone, marble, or any precious metal is worthless if faith in the maker it is absent. For a foundation built of stone, marble, or any precious metal is worthless if faith in the maker is absent. Just one this time. I've never played with the Kunari before, so I think I will put him in my party this time. Yes? What can I do for you now? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. To defend against the Blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? Then, perhaps it would be for the best. You have convinced me. Here then, take the key to the Canari's cage and take him away. I pray this is the right path for all our sakes. Yes, my lady? Who might you be? I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Then what might I do for you? Maker's breath, how many times must we drive them off? Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The Chanter's even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Thank you. 
direction. Hello again. What can I do for you? Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Good point. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. Only if you're interested in the business of mages. I have heard word that the Templars who watch over the Circle of Magi's Tower have called for the right of annulment. Hopefully I've heard wrong. If the right of annulment is invoked, the Tower and every living soul within will be destroyed. Oh, we geez. need the Circle's help. We should go and find out what's happening. To have such a call when mages are needed to fight the Darkspawn, something terrible must have happened. I have nothing else to tell you. The only news I care about is the approaching Horde. Now, unless there's something else you need. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Oh, I see. So I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, thought. First Is grand cleric and run through the streets of Denham in my small clothes, I guess.
I'm glad I'm already out of potions. I'm dying so overrated. Suckers, let's do this. Better be some potions up in this chest. Oh good. A helm. Exactly what I didn't need. Something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Yes. Jeez. I 
shall do it. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. <laughs> is begun. And I think that's where I'm going to call it quits. I think uh, Brian wants to wants to stream here for a second. So hopefully I'll be back on. I'm guessing guessing Thursday at the latest. But um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Have a good night.